this video, we will create a new VPC. So we launched the VPC wizard and you can see that there are four options, but within each option, there are so many options. And each one would probably take multiple videos. But as you can see, the last two, three and four, these are VPCs with uh, VPNs, hardware VPNs. So right now we'll do the basic one, VPC, just with a single public subnet. And we'll, we're creating this one so that you can test VPC to VPC communication. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And very simple, we give it a name and that is just about it. There are not many options because those options come later once you're inside of the VPC. And now that we have our VPC created, we could take a look at our network ACL and it's just your basic ACL. It will allow everything inbound and outbound. And your network ACL, you could say is your first level firewall, if you will. But right off the bat, it just allows everything. But when we create a EC2 instance, we can change security groups. But here's the important thing that when you create an EC2, you want to make sure that you're selecting the correct VPC, the one we created. But there's an additional link there where you could create a new VPC while you're creating the EC2. And we could see that this EC2 is in the correct VPC that we just created. And as always, it's good practice to delete everything that you create in this lab. Very important. And here's a gotcha. The VPC cannot be deleted until you delete the resources within that VPC. And here's an example. Even though it says that it successfully terminated the, VPC, the EC2, when we try to go into the VPC, you will see that we are not able to delete it. Here's an example, and this is all in real time. And here's our VPC, the, gave it a name. It's selected, we want to delete it. And here you go, it says that the EC2 is still in a shutting down state, which is not true, right? We got the little message saying that successfully terminated, but it just takes a little while to synchronize. If we go back and take a look, now there are no EC2s running. And if we go and look at all the instances in all states, we could see that this one is now listed as terminated. And now we should be able to go back into the VPC and delete it. Let's see if we're successful this time. This is a protective mechanism so that you don't end up deleting a complete environment unintentionally. So you have to go through the steps of deleting the EC2 and all the other resources before you're ready. And there we go. Now everything's in green. Everything is ready to be deleted. We just have to type delete and it activates the button. We click on it. And that is it. We can see that we only have the default VPC left. If you like this video, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up and smash that notification bell. I will be posting many more tutorials.